Okay, so it's the end of a day. Actually, it's the end of a week. It's Friday. It's five o'clock. It's time to go home. And uh, this week, I got some good work done. You can see my newly restored dash in the van here. It looks really shiny, really clean. I got my ashtray in. All nice glove box with a restored handle on it. I don't have the uh, actual glove box in there yet. Got all the chrome and stainless steel polished. And I'm getting ready to restore the gauges and the knobs. Subaru vans have a um, headlight switch right here, which is an up and down switch, and then a wiper switch right there where my finger is. Also under the dash, Subaru vans have a hazard. If I can focus in on that. There we go. And where'd they go? In this little panel here, that's the choke. And that is the heat. H is for heat. You can see these knobs don't look bright, shiny, or clear. They're, they're old. They need to be restored. And what I want to talk about in this video is restoring these knobs, how to make them look like new again. Um, they're very detailed. They look really crisp and clear when they're all cleaned up. And let me show you how I do that. So first off, I'll show you. I've got the, this is the gear change knob. You can see the R, one, two, three. I'm in the process of restoring this. It looks nice and shiny. Here's the headlight knob. And here is the windshield wiper knob. This is actually what and how they look when I started. They're nasty. They're bake light. They're ugly. Uh, this van, the prior owner smoked, so there's lots of nicotine and residue on the knobs. First off, what you do is you just take the bare knob like this, take your little buffer wheel. It can be sitting on the ground. I just usually put my, my knee on it like that, turn it on and hold it and put a little polish on there. I usually use some pretty um, heavy duty grit like 105 Meguiar's or rubbing compound. And you just basically leave it on there until it looks like those other knobs, until it shines to your perfection or to your satisfaction, I should say, until it's perfection. So that's the first step. Then you have to reproduce the little insignia. Do you see the little insignia on there? That's a wiper. Uh, focus on that. It's a windshield and there's a wiper blade right there. And what I do for that, once the knob is all clean, clean and polished, is I'll take a lid like this, just a simple old lid, take a, um, a white paint marker, such as this, you take the cap off, you dab a little paint right there, and you take either a dental pick, or in this case, these are really fine, mechanics wire, you just dip it there, and then you just trace out your, it's gonna be hard, do I hold the camera? Basically, you just trace along there. So you dip into the paint, and you trace along your, your outline. I can't do this while holding the camera. Anyhow, I think you get the idea. You're using this wire as a paintbrush. You get in there, and if you have any extra that makes it over the edge of where you're trying to fill, I simply just take some lacquer thinner, put it on a rag, and have a razor blade, and you wipe a little bit of lacquer thinner on your razor blade, and you can just scrape off the excess and get the detail that you want. Just simply just scrape it, just very, very lightly, like a fingernail, just scrape it off. And then when you're all done, you can give it one final polish with the buffer like that, and it comes out looking like this. Gorgeous and nice, something you'd want to use, and it looks really good on a restored vehicle. That way you're not putting these old crusty knobs back on a nice new dash. So it's kind of a simple yet detail-orientated step that really, really makes the vehicle worthwhile, I think. I like to have nice looking stuff, so. That is how you detail your knobs. Again, this will be your headlight, your wiper, gear shift, and I showed you the hazard and the choke and the other knobs in there. 
So a little van is coming along. I got the carpet kit this week. I have the, the dash installed. Uh, next up is the steering wheel and to redo the sun-baked column cover. Which I have a new one of those. So that's next up. Look at that dash. It looks so good. I like it because you can you can see the color basically from the outside to the inside. Much better. All right. Thanks for watching and thanks for following along with my knob detail. Got to detail your knobs. Make your car look good.